Today, we'll be implementing a momentum-based trading strategy. Uh, what this means is we'll be taking an average over X number of days. Uh, and depending on if the cryptocurrency or stock is performing well on those days, we will, use, we will enter a long buy or a short sell. So today, we'll be using Bitcoin. Uh, here, we're using the Tingo API to extract our data. Our start date is the beginning of this year of 2021, and the end date is September 12th. Uh, here we have our ticker label, uh, Bitcoin USD, with a sampling frequency of one day. And we're storing our data in a CSV file here. That being said, here is our uh, back testing script. Here we just import our libraries and we read in our CSV file into a pandas data frame. Over here, we're taking the log returns of our uh, buy and, and holding price. Uh, so, so what this does is we're basically taking our current uh, closing price or our closing price of the current day and dividing it by the closing price of the previous day and taking a natural log of that uh, that division. So if this is above one, then it will be a positive number. And if it is below one, then it will be a negative number. Uh, what this does it will, is it will make it, it will make it an easier indicator to see if we're going up or down in our closing price. Over here, we're, we're taking the moving average of our log uh, returns. Um, as you can see here, uh, this is a moving average of our log returns taken in Panda. We have uh, five days, and thanks to np.sign, uh, this will convert it to a positive one or a negative one, and we'll be storing it in the position column. So what that means is a positive one, it will, um, it will basically mean that we will enter a long buy, and if it is a negative one, then we will enter a short sell. And this is simply from if the if the average is above zero or below zero. So after that, we have our strategy. Uh, this is very simple. All it does is it takes there our uh, buy and hold uh, log returns and it multiplies it by our position of one or negative one and then this will determine if uh, how our strategy is doing so here we just print out some information of, of our data set to help understand what's going on and here we'll be dropping our NAND values over here we'll be plotting our uh, Bitcoin data uh, what this is doing here this is the main part of our plotting. Uh, we will be uh, using our the cumulative sum of the buy and hold returns and our momentum based strategy. And we'll be comparing them both. The reason why we are taking the cumulative sum is because we want to uh, smooth out the uh, spikes in our Bitcoin data. Um, especially since it tends to be very volatile. So that being said, let's run our back test. As you can see, uh, it doesn't look like our returns are doing very well. Uh, it's actually significantly lower than our um, buy and hold. So this doesn't seem to be doing too well. Um, if you notice on, on, on the Y axis, we don't have an actual price. It's just uh, numbers. Uh, these are all multiples of E. So, um, well, it's the current day's closed price divided by the previous day's closed price, uh, and that is a multiple of E. Uh, so this isn't going to be the exact price. It's more of a way to just compare our returns to our strategy. Um, that being said, can obviously try out different days. So let's try out like a two day moving average. Plot that out. 
So it seems to be doing a little bit better. Uh, it's, it's not quite as good as what we're looking for. Uh, one way to make this process uh, much faster is to use a simple for loop. Uh, as you can see here, this is the exact same code. The, the only difference is that we have a, a for loop here that is um, appending our moving average. Our uh, well, we are adding our uh, position in and our strategy in, depending on the uh, number of days. Uh, and this is what is used to make our uh, moving average. So, that being said, let's run the multi bat test. Now, as you can see here, we have our, our moving averages of 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. And we have that compared to our re returns in uh, dark blue. So, it looks like they're all performing uh, pretty poorly, except for this uh, gold one, which is the 7 day. Uh, momentum strategy. So if I were building a uh, Bitcoin trading bot right now based on momentum, I would probably go with the seven day. And I would uh, probably start off with uh, paper trading and see how well it does now. Uh, that being said, this is not a uh, financial advice, it's more of an introduction to uh, backtesting uh, your trading strategies. Uh, thank you for watching.